The Boy and the Wolf There once lived a shepherd boy. Every day he would go up the hill to graze his sheep. One day he was bored and he wanted to have some fun. He shouted, Wolf! Wolf! Help! There's a wolf! The farmers working in the fields heard the boy's cries for help. They ran up the hill to save the boy. Where's the wolf? Where is the wolf? They cried. They looked around, but there was no wolf. The farmers warned him against playing such tricks and walked away. But the boy wouldn't listen. He played the same trick again. This time the farmers grew angry. They said, If you ever do this again, we will not come to your rescue. And walked away. The next day, what the boy said for fun really happened. Yes, a wolf indeed came to the spot. The boy climbed on the tree and started crying out for help. There's a wolf! There's a wolf! 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 There is a wolf! Please. Alas, no one came. The wolf killed all the sheep one by one and feasted on them. The boy couldn't do anything but watch helplessly. Never lie. Once you are known as a liar, you will not be taken seriously. The Lion and the Mouse A lion was sleeping under a tree. A naughty rat came and started to jump on the lion's body. The lion got disturbed. He caught the rat in his paw and roared. The rat was scared. He requested the lion, Let me go. I will help you someday. The lion laughed at this and said, You are too small to help me. Anyways, you can go. One day, the lion was trapped in the hunter's net. He roared loudly. Hearing his voice, the rat came out of his hole. He quickly ignored the net and set the lion free. The lion said to the rat, Thank you. I was wrong. Even two small creatures can do a big job. The Fox and the Crane Once a fox and a crane became friends. So, the fox invited the crane to dinner. The crane accepted the invitation and reached the fox's place at sunset. The fox had prepared soup for his mate. But as we all know that foxes are cunning by nature. He served the soup in flat dishes. So, he himself lapped the crane's share with his tongue enjoying its relish a lot. But the crane could not enjoy it at all with his long beak. And had to get back home hungry. The shrewd fox felt extremely amused. After few days, the crane invited the fox to dine in with him. The fox reached his place well in time. The crane gave him a warm welcome and served the soup in a jug with a long and narrow neck. So, the crane enjoyed the soup with great relish using his long beak. The fox's mouth couldn't reach the soup through the narrow neck of the jug. He had to return home hungry. Now he realized that he had been repaid for his behavior with the crane. Moral As you sow, so shall you reap. Once a crow stole a cheese. It wanted to eat it. So it flew away to a tree nearby. It was about to eat it. Then a hungry fox passing by saw it. 
he decided to have the cheese. Oh, my dear crow. He said to the crow. How beautiful you are. Your feathers are really shiny. Surely your voice must also very sweet. Please sing a song for me. The foolish crow opened its mouth to sing. The cheese fell down. At once the clever fox picked it up and ran away with it. Moral. Don't fool other. Otherwise you will be fooled. There once was a tortoise living on the shores of a river. And there was also a cunning fox who lived there. The fox was always trying to eat the tortoise. But the tortoise always kept clear and lived in the waters of the river. Unfortunately, one day the fox caught the tortoise. The tortoise was shivering with fear and hid in his shell. The fox could not crack the shell. So the fox asked the turtle what he should do. The turtle grabbed his courage and spoke that the fox should put him in the water. When he does, so the shell will soak and become soft. The foolish fox did what the tortoise said. But, as soon as he put the tortoise in the water, it swam for his life. There was a crow. On a hot summer day, he was very thirsty. So he flew from place to place in search of water. But he did not find it anywhere. Which made him sad and disappointed. At last, he sighed a pot of water. He flew down to the pot and sat on its edge. When he cranked his beak to quench his thirst, he saw to his great discouragement that the water was just at the bottom. His beak could not reach such a low level of water. He even tried to overturn the pot but could not. It was too heavy for him to move. When he was just about to fly in despair, he thought of a plan. Suddenly, his eyes flew upon some pebbles lying near the pot. He flew to them, picked up the pebbles one by one and dropped them into the pot. Slowly and gradually, the level of water rose and came up to the neck. The crow was overjoyed to see this. He dipped his beak, quenched his thirst, and flew away. Moral We should use our common sense. Once upon a time, there lived a woodcutter in a village. He was very poor. Every day, he set out into the nearby forest to cut trees. He brought the woods back into the village and sold them out to a merchant and earned his money. A poor woodcutter accidentally dropped his axe into the river. He was very upset. As he had no money to buy another axe, just then a fairy appeared in the river holding out a golden axe to him. I found this axe in the river. Is this yours? That's not mine, replied the woodcutter. The fairy then brought out a silver axe. The woodcutter dishonored this one too. Finally, the fairy held out a wooden axe, smiling with happiness. The woodcutter said, That's mine. Thank you very much. The fairy felt very happy seeing his honesty and said, Such a honesty deserves a reward. 
She gave the poor man all the three axes and disappeared. Moral Honesty is the best policy. Once, there was a cap seller in a town. On one fine day, he was selling caps. Caps, 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 5 rupees caps, 10 rupees caps. After he made few sales of caps, he became very tired. He decided to sit under a big tree to take rest for a while. Soon, he slept off. There were many monkeys on the big tree. They saw the cap seller was sleeping under the tree. The monkeys were sitting on the top of the tree. The monkeys came down. Took the caps from the cap seller bag and wore them. Then they climbed the tree again. When the cap seller woke up, he was shocked to see his basket empty. He searched for his caps. To his surprise, he saw the monkeys were wearing them. He found that monkeys were imitating him. So, he started throwing his cap down, and the monkeys also did so. The cap seller collected all the caps, put them back in his basket, and went away happily. Moral. Wisdom is better than weapons of war. One afternoon a fox was walking through the forest and spotted a bunch of grapes hanging from over a lofty branch. Just the thing to quench my thirst, he thought. Taking a few steps back, the fox jumped and just missed the hanging grapes. Again the fox took a few paces back and tried to reach them but still failed. Finally, Giving up, the fox turned up his nose and said, They're probably sour anyway, and proceeded to walk away. Moral. It's easy to despise what you cannot have, nothing comes easy without a hard work. So, work hard and reach your goals. Please subscribe to watch more videos.